This is my Samsung Intercept phone. I got this from Virgin Mobile and I'm on their $25 a month plan. So for 25 bucks you get 300 minutes of talk time and unlimited text and unlimited internet. Um, which it is uh, great for the as far as the phone is concerned. It, you can talk on the phone and you can text and it works fine. Uh, it works well for my email too. The problem, now today I have, I've been having problems getting into my contacts. And whenever somebody calls me and I try to add them to my contacts, it tells me there's an application error and it won't let me save their information. Sometimes, and sometimes it works. Um, the screen resolution, I have an iPhone here for comparison, so you can both compare size and screen resolution. You can see how much clearer the iPhone is than this one. This one just has a lower resolution screen. I'm not sure why, because they certainly, um, it's, it's a new phone, a new model of phone, so I don't know why they would cheap out on the screen resolution. It makes it kind of hard, like if you download books or download, or even try to read websites. If the text gets too small, you can't differentiate the letters from one another like you could on the iPhone. In terms of size, it's a little bit fatter than the iPhone, but it's also a little bit thinner this way. The good thing about it is if you're texting, it's got a full keyboard, which is something that I really look for in a phone. It runs the Android operating system. It's a lot slower than the iPhone. In fact, if, you, if you're upgrading from an iPhone to this particular Android phone, you'll be disappointed and frustrated for sure. I do like that it's, this is, a, what, 100 bucks a month and this is $25 a month, so that's a big difference. Um, in terms of benchmarks, I don't want to navigate too far around in here because I'm paranoid that some criminal will see some personal information and be able to steal my identity. I think that's probably just paranoia, but just to be sure, I'm not going to go and show you my contacts or anything like that. Um, it, if I go into applications, let's have a race here. So we've got the iPhone and we're going to open Angry Birds on both of them. I figure Angry Birds is the universal performance benchmark for telephones these days. So Angry Birds, Angry Birds, let's see. Alright, so this is, we're having a race. You can see the difference in the, just in the size of the screen as well as in the re resolution and in the speed. Now this is not a new iPhone, this is the original generation of iPhone. So the new iPhone has an even better screen. So I'm already playing on my iPhone, which is a couple years old, and on my Samsung, I'm about half a minute behind. It's the same way if I go to look up a contact or do anything else on the Samsung, it's, it's just slower. Um, we'll go to trick or treat. We'll go to the screen number 14. So on the iPhone, I'm already ready to shoot birds. On this one, it takes a little longer. Now on this one, I've also found that the dragging is sloppy. The touch screen is terrible on the Samsung Intercept. Whereas on the iPhone, it is perfect. So some of these birds I missed. Some of these birds, like the boomerang bird. This is a boomerang bird, so I shoot him and then I have to tap the screen to make him boomerang. And you can see he didn't he didn't boomerang back because it didn't register the tap even though I was tapping like crazy. So now on this one, we pull back the boomerang bird on the iPhone. I touch the screen gently, he boomerangs back, see? So the touch screen is really frustrating to use on this one. Uh, not just when you're playing stupid games. Though I do like to play stupid games, but when you're trying to when you're trying to scroll through your contacts, you'll accidentally call people you didn't mean to call, uh, provided it'll open contacts at all. So anyway, I think you get the idea. So now, if I want to go back to the the home screen, I hit the home button. The Apple, I hit the home button. So that's about the same. Uh, is there anything else you need to know about this phone? I do like the the microphone search. Watch this. You hit the microphone. Funny cat videos. And funny cat videos come up. So that's pretty neat. I like the voice search. There's some 
cool things about Android. I just think this particular Samsung Intercept phone is crappy. It's the first Intercept phone, or I'm sorry, it's the first Android phone that Virgin Mobile made available for their $25 a month plan. Uh, they have another one out there that you might want to try. I don't think it has a keyboard, but it can't be any worse than this particular one. Uh, there's also a newer version of the Android operating system that has come out, but it's up to the cell phone provider to uh, push it to the phones. And so far, Virgin hasn't pushed it to this phone yet. There's rumors that people will start, they'll, they'll start sending the upgrade to people's phones. And that might either make it better or make it worse, depending on how heavy the... Uh, the application is. Um, I guess the other thing you need to know, and this would be a nice thing that, that I wish was on the iPhone, is a micro SD slot. It comes with a 2 gigabyte card, but you can put up to, how big do they get, 16 or 32? So that you can put all kinds of music on there and use it as a music player, and it has a traditional headphone jack on it right there. I would play some music for you, but then we'd be getting into copyright violation. Um, has a 3.2 megapixel camera. The pictures are decent, they're not great. Um, I shot some video on it and uploaded it to YouTube yesterday. It took me five tries to get it to upload to YouTube and in the process my phone crashed and I had to restart it. Um, same thing with pictures. When I, like if I take a picture and I want to upload it to Facebook, it, I have to try twice or three times sometimes it'll just bounce and bounce and bounce and then finally for some reason the last time it'll work. Uh, that's kind of frustrating. I mean if I were in the middle of a riot or a revolution and I was trying to send pictures and video up for the world to see right before they shot me, uh, you wouldn't see them. I, they would have to be, I would have to hide, well, let's see, yes, I'd have to hide in a cave. When I'd shoot the video I'd have to hide in a cave with cell phone reception, then I'd have to try three times, then I would have to restart my phone which takes about four minutes with this phone and then I would have to try again and then try again and then the world would see what was going on. So um, if you're in a, the middle of a revolution I recommend bringing the iPhone. Don't bring the Samsung Intercept to the revolution or no one will know what's going on. And that's about it. But 25 bucks a month you really can't beat that at this point in the game for unlimited internet. Uh, it also it also works with Skype. There's a Skype app, so if you want to use Skype on it, you can. And then you're talking for free using the unlimited internet. So that's a big plus on this one. I don't think there's a Skype app for the for the iPhone yet. So if you're a big Skyper, uh, Android phone is the way to go. Just not this particular Android phone. So check and you should check out uh, Virgin Mobile's website because just yesterday I went on there because I couldn't remember the model name of this phone, and they did have one other Android phone up there. But I recommend whatever you get, read the reviews first. Also, with the $25 a month plan, you have to pay up front for the phone. So it's not one of those deals where you get a free phone and you pay monthly. This phone, they're selling it for $199.95. And uh, on Black Friday, I got it for $175. That was their, their Black Friday sale. I still feel ripped off. But uh, you know, overall, it's a good communication device. It keeps me from wasting time playing silly games on it because it's so frustrating to play the silly games that I do it for a minute and then quit. Um, if my son is bored and he wants to play a silly game, he doesn't want to play it on my phone because it's such a terrible experience.